Hello, and in this module, we're going to be talking about organ systems and anatomical planes. So we're moving from the cell now into the systems of the body. So first, let's talk about tissues. So cells that have a specialized function and join together form tissues. There are four main types of tissues. You can see over here we have connective tissues, epithelial tissue, muscle tissue, and nervous tissue. So first let's talk about connective tissue. So this is going to be bone tissue, cartilage, tendons, ligaments, fat, blood, and lymph. Cartilage cushions and provides structural support for body parts. It has a jelly-like base and is fibrous. Blood transports oxygen to cells and removes waste. It also carries hormones and defends against disease. So connective tissue has four basic types. We have loose connective tissue, adipose tissue, dense irregular connective tissue, and dense regular connective tissue. So muscle tissue, this helps support and move the body. There is smooth muscle, skeletal muscle, and cardiac muscle. We can see over here the three different types and how they look different under a microscope. Then nervous tissue, cells called neurons form a network throughout the body that control responses to changes in the external and internal environment. Some send signals to muscles and glands to trigger responses. So there are brain cells, spinal cord, and nerve cells. So this is all the central nervous system. We have the spinal column, the brain, those are both the central nervous system, and then this gold coming off, these are all the nerves in the peripheral nervous system. So we can think central, in the middle, peripheral, on the outside. Then we have epithelial tissue. So this is tissue in which cells are joined together tightly. Organ, it, this is on organ surfaces, it's mouth lining, and in your skin. So these are the different types of epithelial tissues if we looked at them under a microscope. So we have simple squamous epithelial, stratified squamous, epithelial, cuboidal simple epithelial, stratified cuboidal epithelial, uh, simple columnar epithelial, stratified columnar epithelium, and pseudostratified columnar epithelium. So we have all these different types. So tissues join together to form organs. So we have 11 major organ systems in the body. This is respiratory, cardiovascular, gastrointestinal, nervous system, reproductive system, integumentary system, endocrine system, genitourinary system, immune system, muscular system, and skeletal system. And all of the systems in the body work together to maintain homeostasis, which is a stable environment inside the body. And we're going to go through all of these different systems in later modules. All right, so let's talk about anatomical planes for human anatomy because you will need to know this so there are three body planes we have the sagittal plane is this red coronal plane is the blue and the transverse plane is the green and the point of these boxes is it is showing the way that the planes cut the body so we can see you know, the transverse plane is cutting the body horizontally in half, and then the sagittal and coronal plane is going straight down. The center would be sagittal, and then coronal is going to be separating the front and the back. But let's go more into it. So the coronal plane, so that is the blue is dividing the body vertically into front and back portions. Now, some words you will need to know for the ATIT's exam is that anterior is going to be the front, because again, it's cutting the body in the front in the back. So anterior and ventral both mean the front. Posterior and dorsal both mean the back. 
And a way to think about this is that anterior is in the front because A comes before P. So A is in the front, P is in the back. So anterior, posterior. And then the way I like to remember it is that V is kind of looks like an upside down A. So I remember that ventral goes with anterior on the front and then P and D sort of look similar because a P is like a D with a line under it. So I just remember that posterior, posterior and dorsal is in the back. But you can come up with whatever way you want to remember things. So sagittal plane, that's going to be this red plane that is dividing the body vertically into left and right portions. So sagittal coming down the center, creating left and right. And it runs parallel to the midline of the body. So you think like midline of the body comes down like this. That is where the sagittal plane is running. And the transverse plane, this is the green box that is cutting the body horizontally. And it divides the body into top and bottom portions. So some other words you'll need to know for understanding uh, the top and bottom portions are superior is the head and inferior is the feet. So you may see a question using the, that terminology. Okay. So another term that you need to understand is direction in terms of the body. So medial is going to mean near the midline of the body. In anatomical position, the little finger is medial to the thumb. So if someone is standing, this would be anatomical position with the arms down and the hands out with the thumbs on the outside. The little finger is medial to the body. It's going towards the midline because medial is nearest to the midline. Lateral is the opposite of medial and refers to structures that are further away from the midline at the side. So if we think the thumb is going to be lateral to the pinky finger because it's away from the midline. Proximal are structures closest to the center of the body. And so, you know, if you have somebody standing uh, up the say hip is going to be proximal versus the foot it's closer to uh, the center of the body so distal are structures further away from the center of the body which so again proximal is towards but the foot would be distal compared to the hip then we have anterior refers to structures in the front. We had talked about that in the last slide and posterior is to the back. Cephalad or cephalic means towards the head. Codad is towards the tail or posterior. And then we have superior, which is above or close to the head. And then we have inferior down at the feet. All right, so that is the end of the anatomical planes and organ systems. Now we're going to dive into the systems of the body in the next modules. So make sure to um, check out the worksheet for you guys and also take the quiz and then move on to the next module. I'll see you there. Bye.